This Drio fan was sent to me to do a review and as you can see here it's nice that it's really low to the ground. I had some water in my shed. I used that to dry it out. So it comes in a fairly small box and there's no assembly required which is really nice. You just have to unpackage it and then you are good to go. It also comes with this remote control. The remote control has all the features that the fan itself does. So if we have a look at some of the features, it does have variable speed. So it has four speeds. It has a timer. It has different modes. It has an auto mode. And then it has oscillation. So it can move back and forth at 120 degrees. So you can see that is a nice thing to have in a fan. Easy to clean. You can take the whole fan apart and wash it if you need to. And it's very quiet. Really nice how quiet it is, especially on the lower speed or the auto mode. But you can see here with the remote control, you can control everything that you can with the base of the fan itself. So it's nice that you can have the fan away from you and still be able to control it. I did measure the speed of the fan. I was getting about 15 to 16 miles per hour right up next to the fan. That was about the top speed I was getting from that. One thing I do want to show, it does have memory. So if you unplug it and then plug it back in, it will retain the settings that it had before. You do need to turn it on though for it to retain those settings. One kind of awkward thing with this fan, there's no handle on top. The handle is kind of in the middle of the fan. So just something to kind of be aware of. But overall, I really like how small this is and you can put it in tight spots. So I use that to plug into my portable power station to dry out my shed. It worked wonderfully. I could leave it on all day because it doesn't use a lot of power. This is great for a desk or on the floor in a corner. Really nice fan. I like the shape and size of it. Very versatile.